we will draw a new circuit which is called a sense amplifier why are we going to draw this we'll quickly understand that as well let's first draw the circuit again what we are going to do is draw a CMOS inverter draw another one of those let's call this as VDD for the timing just understand that we are going to connect one more transistor here at the bottom which is an NMOS transistor and we are also going to connect two more PMOS transistors I'll tell you why we are doing such a thing now this node we are going to connect here and make it cross coupled again so output of this goes to the input of this output of this again goes to the input of this let's call this node as X and this node as Y and let's call this as bit and this as bit bar and let's name all our transistors here so let's call this as P5 P6 P7 P8 and let's label our NMOSes as well N9 N10 and 11 let's call this input as read enable and the same input is going to be shorted and given to this node of an NMOS transistor so let's call this also as read enable so now what's going to happen is very very simple when read enable is equal to zero my P5 and P6 both are on and when this both are on they will pass bit voltage to X and bit bar voltage to Y at that same point of time because N11 is off what's going to happen is there's no direct part to ground so nothing in this inverter is going to get triggered now I want to start my read operation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my read enable equal to 1 when that happens what's going to happen is my transistor P5 and P6 are eliminated from my circuit and this but before elimination if you remember what they have done is they have passed their value which was nothing but bit to X and bit bar to Y and because read enable is 1 now N11 is also on so what do you think what values have they passed to X and Y that's correct if we remember the start of this clip we discussed that bit because we wanted to read a 0 at A has gone slightly below VDD which is nothing but VDD minus delta V and bit bar at the same time was nothing but VDD so let's give some numerical values to this so bit is nothing but 1.6 and bit bar is nothing but 1.8 now see what's happening in digital VLSI what's going to happen is if we have a range of voltage say from 0 to 1.8 0 to 0.9 is going to be termed as low voltage or digital value 0 and 0.9 greater than 0.9 to 1.8 will be termed as logic high or 1 so in this case 1.6 and 1.8 both are considered as logic value high is everyone with me till here that's the fun and that's the beauty so X is at logic 1 Y is at logic 1 X is going to the input of P8 and N10 Y is going as the input to P7 and N9 and what this both are going to do is they are going to turn on N9 and N10 isn't it so we'll come back to this after we understand one more analogy so let's understand that analogy first 